What's up, people? I'm at abandoned location number four. Um, I've been to this house before. It's really creepy. Oh, there's a cat. It scared me. It's a real creepy location. I had a lot of stuff happen to me. Oh. Um, I'm gonna name this house Look in the Face of Evil because I watched American Horror Story last night and they said that and that face looking thing is scary. But, um, there's a garage there. I should get out of here because I don't want people to see me. Um, there's this sign, this house is not, no trespassing sign posted, so I guess I'm safe. Um, I went to more abandoned houses today, I went to 14, including this one. Um, I guess, because I went with my dad, I wanted to spend quality time with him, I guess. And here's some kind of old wiring configuration. It's very clean, actually, this is a 240 volt timer. Push those in around, I don't know. But, uh, it snowed in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick video of this. And this. I don't know the condition of those floors. Ooh, pretty rotty. And I just seen a cat running here. Ooh, look at that. Um. I'm kind of freaked out because this house definitely is haunted. Because I've gone here before and seen like someone run behind me and stuff. It's actually a nice fireplace. Here's the garage. Um, in the basement down there, I'm definitely not going in. I'm not going upstairs because these floors really are rotty and if I fall through the floor and die I don't want to be sitting here for like a week. These are two prong, prong, no, it's pronged outlets that old people in the car switch. Oh, I did research on this house, it is built in 1920. Um, it's not for sale, even though there's a for sale sign, it was bought out by a company. Yeah, there used to be a really, really old electric meter there. I wish I really got it, because it's like from the 20s. And it was like the A-frame type, I guess what that's called. Ooh, I just heard a hiss. Um, it's one of those A-framed ones where you wire it in the bottom. But I came back a week later and it was completely gone. It still has wiring running to the house, but it's cut off. I'm just hanging. Oh, is it? <laughs> uh, no, it's not. It actually goes to the telephone pole. But the cutout's pulled, so I guess that this is dead. The door's wide open. You know, I'll go around here to show you inside the base. Because it is real scary. Here's the basement um, bull code doors. In there, it's just super scary. There's a mound of dirt in the basement with clothes and stuff in it. I think there's a dead body in it. I don't know. I'm not trying to have any glass here. Um, yeah, I live right by this house, so I just walk to it. It's the address. I think it's 4218. That doesn't sound right. Um, 2806 401 or Conestoga Road, Chester Springs, PA. That they kept the wood in there. That's actually really creative. Here's the old well. Just get in this garage before people see me. Okay, and that fell in since the last time I've been here. How much last one? We go around this door. Okay, in the garage. Um, here's this that thick piping up there. I don't know what that is. 
Yeah, this place went abandoned in 2001. Here's this home art. I've never heard of that brand of electrical stuff, and I've done electrical for a while. Oh, this is a 30 amp breaker. Main with, uh, yeah, 60 amps pulling it, so that's really kind of a code violation. And with that 20 amp breaker, it goes to a 15 amp, 15 amp outlet, so that's also a code violation. But I doubt you care. Um, there's a creepy little room in there. Yeah, so that is abandoned house number three. Or, yeah, no, it's number four. <laughs> uh, look in the face of evil. Okay, thanks for watching.